Welcome and thanks for joining us at EMII.com. I'm Ananya Bhatia with your hedge fund headlines. Today's Wednesday, June 3, 2009. Micron Technology will sell its imaging unit to private equity firms Riverwood, Riverwood Capital and TPG Capital. According to the Wall Street Journal, Micron will maintain a 35% stake in Aptina Imaging, which makes image sensors for cameras, phones, and, and other digital devices. Micron is expected to book a loss of about $100 million as a result of the deal, whose terms have not been disclosed. The two private equity firms will not borrow any money for the transaction. Aladdin Capital has hired St Stephen Mandela as COO and CFO. According to the Financial Times, the appointment will help the U.S.-based alternative investment manager strengthen the firm's operations and corporate government governance. Mandela was previously senior, senior managing director at New York Life Investment Management. Prior to that, he was at Merrill Lynch for 25 years, most recently as first vice president and CFO of Merrill Lynch Investment Managers Americas. And another hedge fund news. Private equity firm KKR has written down the value of its second European fund by about 50 percent. According to the Wall Street Journal, European Fund 2 includes high-profile companies such as Alliant Boots and Pagay Jean. KKR has written down the $5.8 billion European fund by $2.8 billion of the original cost of investments. The move comes as the firm is expected to complete a 4 million euro fundraising for an annex fund earlier this month to back the European vehicle's investments. And Singapore-based Helios Capital Management is planning to set up a slumdog millionaire fund which will buy underperforming shares of Indian companies. According to Bloomberg, the hedge fund manager is seeking to raise about $50 million for its long-only Helios India Jai Ho fund. The fund is looking to begin by investing in stocks, which have dropped about 50% since the end of 2007. Helios intends to raise money from institutional investors in Europe, the U.S., and wealthy individuals in the Middle East. And that rounds out today's hedge fund headlines. Thanks for joining us on EMII.com. For more details on these stories and much more, Click onto our hedge fund channel online and read the full stories and latest developments.